the Internet of Things and the Internet of Me, the IoT and the IO Me. Now, the Internet of Things, IoT, and the Internet of Me, IO Me, share a common theme of an interconnectivity, though have distinct focuses. The IoT is about interconnected devices improving processes and management at a broad scale, while the IO Me is about creating a personalized user experience that caters to specific needs and preferences of individuals. So essentially the IoT is what kind of brings it all together and is the technology that makes it all work. And the IO Me is about that personal user experience. So we're going to explore these two concepts a bit. So we're able to distinguish between the two. And the first one is that of the IoT, the Internet of Things. So essentially it's device centric, okay, where we've got connected physical devices, okay, which are actually connected to the internet and established networks. Okay, that range from a whole variety of different types of devices. So computers, mobile devices, home appliances and industrial machines, as well as the technology in the middle that sets these networks up to our routers, our satellites, our switches. Okay, all of that technology that creates this web that is the internet. This is the technology behind it that has allows it to exist. All right, so that's the internet of things, the things that actually make up the internet, those hardware devices. So what does it lead to? Well, essentially it leads to smart environments. The creations of smart environments, homes, cities, and industries that can manage resources more effectively or autonomously because of its structure of devices being networked together and connected to control devices that can process information that make things happen. All right, so we can make smart homes, okay, where we know when we walk in the door, okay, the lights might turn on automatically or as I'm approaching home, okay, I can control things from my mobile home and I could unlock the house or open my garage or set certain lights to go on or off as I leave home. So all of this obviously requires the internet, but obviously we need a hardware, found hardware foundation in order to do it. The next one is about autonomy and efficiency. And I've already touched on autonomy a bit. The fact that because we have this technology up, the system can think for itself and do things. Okay, so ultimately, this is the goal of efficiency, that we're setting up networks that make either our life or our work much more easier through automating tasks without the need for human intervention. Essentially, the humans establish the settings of what they want to happen, but once these settings are established, the systems can then run themselves. It also allows for the generation of a wide network, a broad network of devices communicating with each other and with central systems to perform their functions. So we've got a whole variety of nodes on a network doing things. And if we're talking about automated systems with robotics, okay, they're all acting out procedures that they're built for. But at the center of the network, there is some sort of central system that is doing all the thinking. Okay, and if we're talking about a home environment, this could just be your phone being the central system that has the apps installed that control all the automated devices that are existing in your house. And you can control them from that centralized location. You can check your security app in order to look at through the different cameras and point them in different directions to see what's going in your house. But you set up the wide network, but all the data is linking back to some sort of centralized system, which a human can be at the center of, or it could be an autonomous system at the center of in order to make those decisions. And then the final area is that of data generation. IoT devices generate vast amounts of data that can be analyzed to optimize performance and inform decision making. So reflecting on the data being accumulated by these systems by doing so, behaviors can be changed, which is a principle of machine learning and AI that we use the data we have, we modify our outcomes based on user input or environmental input, and we change our decision-making process. And that is the same for humans if they hope to be successful in their businesses or if they want their homes to run more efficiently, we read the data, we process the data, we make changes based on the data, and then we set up new procedures for our autonomous system. So all of that is linking to the Internet of Things, how the technology is essentially doing things and connected with each other in order to create these smart networks. So we'll jump over now to the IO Me, the Internet of Me. And whereas the Internet of Things is device centric, the IO Me now is individual centric. 
focusing on the personalization of technology and the user experience of the individual. It is about enhancing an individual's life based on personal data and preferences. And now look, we've already mentioned things in the Internet of Things category uh, that would already be seen as catering to Internet of Man. Essentially, they work hand in hand because that we need that infrastructure of technology in order to create the Internet of Me and have a, an actual ecosystem set up that supports an individual's their needs and their preferences all right um as we're relating to all the things with a home network there but we're talking about the technology there obviously on the internet of me th side it's about efficiency at home when we're talking about that home makeup and home security and safety at home okay it's the outcome okay on essentially me as a person when i set these things up in my home so what are some categories in this Internet of Me? Well, first is that of personalization. Okay, the IME technologies learn from individuals' behaviors and preferences to deliver personalized content, suggestions, and experiences. And you'd see this firsthand with social media. Straight away, if you're on YouTube, you'll see in your right-hand column recommended videos for you to watch. And they are based on your previous browsing history within YouTube. So they're trying to better your experience when on YouTube and recommend videos they think you'll want to watch. And this is the same with e-commerce to and buying products and other different types of social media as well. There is also the goal of user engagement. The emphasis and it's emphasizing on how devices and services can adapt to anticipate the needs of individual users, creating a more engaging and intuitive experience. So trying to keep up to date with what users want, once again, reading the data, and we said on the Internet of Things sites, data is generated. Now we need to be reading that data within social media platforms, and that's obviously on the platform side, and then having the systems algorithms process that data to kind of anticipate what might users want. Okay, and um, another thing that you'll see in social media too is how the news can be integrated into social media. So when something current happens and it's important, that is posted out through the social media because it believes that is something that users in a specific geographical area would want to see and want to read about. All right, so it's trying to anticipate and adapt to what users might be wanting, as well as changing circumstances too, and how different features may change to keep up to date with user demands there. All right, in order to satisfy the users of social platforms or end of websites and keep them returning in order to have that user experience. We've got this idea of a narrow network now, whereas we said Internet of Things is a wide network. Now we're talking about a narrow network because the whole system in the logic of the IOME is built on a specific user and their personal ecosystem. How do we make this specific user happy? So that's the logic of it here. And usually it's a lot of the users changing their own preferences, but then based on the preferences they set up, the system they are using needs to respond to them, okay? And ensures that it meets those preferences and keeps giving that user engaging user experiences within that realm, within that ecosystem of whatever they're using it for, which could be online gaming, social media, e-commerce, whatever. It's catering to that specific user's needs. And it's doing that for every individual user to give them that personalized user experience. And then the final level is that of privacy and security. Obviously, we're building systems targeted individuals, thus we're collecting data from those individuals to target that experience. Privacy and security measures that need to be in place in order to ensure that the data used for the processing, for our algorithms to use about the user and their personal information needs to be secure with appropriate cybersecurity measures. Our encryption, our firewalls, two-factor authentication, all of that needs to be in place because the foundation of both the Internet of Things, but even more so the Internet of Me, is user data to cater systems towards them. So we've got to keep that data safe within Internet of Me systems. So I hope this video helps you understand the differences between the Internet of Things and the Internet of Me. Essentially, the Internet of Things is device centric. It's all the devices that are connected to each other that build networks and build up the internet, okay? Allowing us to create our smart environments that are run by autonomous systems, okay? That can help generate, okay? Incredible new types of environments that really satisfy the public workplaces homes okay and allow people to live a great life in this modern era and then we've got the internet of things okay which is more about specifically the personalized user experience it is individual centric and it's how preferences within systems and the way apps and online platforms are made is to target individual user experiences and satisfy each individual user's specific needs
okay, in order to increase user engagement and give people a personalized experience that will keep them returning and give the system great retention, but obviously has that foundation of needing to protect privacy and security because its whole foundation of making these decisions with the algorithms is that about data. But the internet of me is all about creating a great world for an individual when they go out there into the internet and how the internet feels like it's catering to them and their preferences.